level by level gaming here and this is going to be a tutorial on getting the Neo Geo ROMs to work on your PAP. Now a viewer of mine on YouTube which I'm going to show you in just a second uh, brought this tutorial to me. Uh, he typed out a really good um, workup of it on the comment section and I've finally gotten around to making a video about it so let's take a look at that so if you go to my youtube channel and you look under the comments you'll come across this post by mark morton and this is exactly what i was saying making neo geo roms work and he typed it up here for me um that was <laughs> like two months ago um and i've finally gotten around to using it and it works great now there is a couple games i found that it just doesn't work on but i don't think it's the tutorial's fault or anything like that i think there's just something deeper with the roms so if you read through this uh it kind of goes back to a previous process that uh, i covered and that was problems with right here this video problems with arcade games cps uh, one and two solved it connects into that so you're going to have to be familiar with this process here in order for what i'm about to do to make a whole lot of sense so if you come here looking for that check this video out first and then you will know what to do on this part that i'm doing if you're trying to get a Neo Geo game to work, you're going to have to have a zip file of the game. Um, I'm going to use Metal Slug 5 here as a example. And you're going to have to follow the process that I talked about before where you copy this zip file into wherever you have your FBA folder and your FBA cache and your FBA ROM. So you're going to go to ROMs. Here's Metal Slug 4. I worked on this all day long for two days. Couldn't get it to work. I tried everything in the world. It's one of those examples of one that just doesn't work. So Metal Gear or correction Metal Slug 5 does work. So I'm going to use that as this working example. You're going to paste your zip file into where that FBA folder is and then you're going to go to your command prompt you can pull that up by searching command prompt there it is so you would pull up your command prompt and as you can see I've been running this um, previously just working this out before I make the video and once you get into that follow those directions in the previous video to get to where your user uh, C user for me it's TC room FBA once you get into this file here you're going to go through that command prompt FBA C A C H E FBA cache D M slug dot zip now all that's covered in that previous video now as you can see here um, when I ran this I'm going to get a lot of messages uh, okay's or what you're looking for so here is going to be the problem with this game is this file is not found 268 and one decrypted is not found these two right here are not found three actually so without these files this game is not going to work so even though it kicked out this metal slug 5.fba file here that you'd put onto your pap to get it to work this game is not going to run so let's just get these out of the way for now Let's clear them out. 
All right, let me let me figure somewhere else out to put this. Let's just put it there for now. I just don't want it in this directory. And in fact, I can get rid of these because Metal Slug 4 does not work. No matter what you do. So once I got that cleared out of the way, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have to replace those files that it said that it didn't have. So let's extract this folder here. Let's just put it on the desktop. And so now I have an extracted version of Metal Slug 5. If I look in here, this is where all these game files are that it did have. Now, if I go into the Neo Geo BIOS, so what you're going to have to do for that is you're going to have to just do a search. Neo Geo BIOS, you will find it just like you would any other ROM. Um, this is a file that you're going to have to have to get those files that you need out of it. So just do a Google search. I'm not going to go to any specific one. You can kind of see where I've been looking for it. Um, whenever you get a Neo Geo BIOS file, just like unzipping Metal Slug to here, you're going to have to unzip it to where you can get into it. Now, if you go to your command prompt and you look, you can see which files you're missing. You are missing the SFIX, SFX. You are missing this decrypted file. You're also going to be missing this Asia file, SM1 file, and 000. 1010 file. So if you look, those first four are right here. I mean, that's easy to find. So I'm going to have to copy those out of the BIOS file, put them into the Metal Slug 5 file here, because that's going to be four right off the bat that it's missing. Right in there, just like that. Now, one, two, three, four. So this fifth file here, because it was missing five total, this fifth file is kind of tricky to track down. Um, once again, my YouTube uh, help. Let me see if I can see the comments here. Yes, uh, where is he at? Mark Morton. Once again, he comes to the rescue and he points out here that he's noticed on the SNK versus Capcom he needed one of these decrypted files and it has to be found within decrypted C versions of the ROMs. So once again, you're going to have to go and do a Google search of Neo Geo decrypted C ROMs um, and then that that is what's going to lead you to some zip files that look like this. You're going to have, instead of just Metal Slug 5, you're going to start finding ROMs that are decrypted C and they're going to end in ND. So it would be Metal Slug 4 ND, you know, 3 ND, um, whatever. It's going to end in ND. And if you unzip it just like you did Metal Slug 5, you're going to find it's going to have a whole other set of files in here. But this one is the magic one. This is the one that you're looking for, that decrypted file that it's missing. So once again, those are found in the decrypted C versions of the ROM, not the original versions. So I'm going to copy that out. And just like before, I'm going to place it in this Metal Slug file. So now I have this file, this file, and these other three files here one two three four five five files five files are missing five files have been put back into the ROM so now we're going to have to highlight all these here send them to a compressed zipped file 
it's going to place it right inside this folder All right, so let's rename it MSLUG5. So now we have a brand new Metal Slug 5 zip file there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out of here. I'm gonna go back and find my ROMs folder that was in, within my FBA. I'm gonna paste that back in and let's run that FBA cache again. So, All right, so I ran that uh, command again, FBA cache, D, metal slug, zip, enter. Now, it's gonna go back through this process again. And so if we scroll back up here, everywhere where there was a not an okay um, before, here we go. So this file here, the cryptid file, these now they should be found and it should be okay now a real quick note uh, i should have covered this before this file right here uh, was also pointed out that in the bios files that you find um, i've already changed this one i've already renamed it but this part of the extension here it was sfxix and then sfix the i you're gonna to have to take the I out. It should read like this here, and it should not have the I in it because then it will not work. And that was also pointed out in that uh, tutorial by Mr. Morton there. All right, so now we have a Metal Slug 5.fba. Uh, I've already tested this and it works. And so now you have a step by step tutorial on how to take a um, Neo Geo zip ROM and turn it into a .fba to play on your PAP. So my next video I'm going to do uh, some CPS games and even though the process is very similar um, I'm still going to do a video showing you guys the whole process once again with CPS 2 games. Alright well that's level by level gaming and if you appreciate this video if you like what you see please hit that like comp uh, like button below uh, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for my next video